The Met Office has been in existence for over 170 years, delivering the most trusted weather and climate intelligence in our radically changing world. Every day, we are taking on board more than 50 billion observations, 200, 300 terabytes of operational data a day. So we need very big storage and very big compute to be able to do that numerical weather prediction. So the resolution of model is very important. They require a lot of supercomputing power. The more supercomputing power we have will help increase the accuracy of our forecasts. So that will also then help people make better decisions. The weather and climate science is big science. The data that those models produce underpins all our products and services. Our ability to repeatably and reliably deliver these massive supercomputing services of paramount importance. And we can only really do that in something like Azure. This program really puts a scientific supercomputer in the heart of the Azure wider infrastructure and it's fully integrated, which means that as we go forwards, we can start to develop new and currently impossible products and services. It's going to be the, the world's first cloud-based solely for weather forecasting supercomputer. It enables us to run more complicated models at higher resolution to provide more timely and accurate predictions. And our customers will notice improvements to our forecast accuracy. Good morning, welcome to our UK Met Office weather update. We do weather forecasts and climate predictions for the public, for the government and for businesses. It's about that honesty and about building that trust so that when the weather is severe, people do believe what you're going to say and most importantly, they act upon it. Looking further ahead, we've got really exciting plans where we're extending our forecast range, high resolution modeling, all of which will benefit our weather forecast accuracy, timeliness and usefulness. It's just going to enhance everything that we do here at the Met Office and improve everyone's lives.